With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and 3 gigs of data for just $44.99, or with 5 gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Muscle on Main 2016 was officially put to bed at last night's Pikeville City Commission meeting as volunteers and organizers, as well as logistical support staff, were recognized and thanked for their hard work. Man, what a time we've had. And uh, you guys, we got words that we want the drag race down there, and it was, they want to what? <laughs> and uh, it's turned out to be just a fantastic event. Everybody talks about it. And everybody says, man, well, I can't believe they're doing that. Because keeping money at home, uh, bringing people to Eastern Kentucky is what it's all about these days. And for that, there's a lot of businesses out here that appreciate you more than we do. So thank you all. And all the volunteers, and, and this wouldn't happen. And that's why Pike is so unique, I believe. We have volunteers and people who come out and help and make it work. And again, I want to thank all the volunteers as well. A group of winners from the different classes in the H2O Racing Series also received their trophies before the commission. And with that, this year's Muscle on Main Series was officially closed out. Pikeville Tourism and Events Executive Director Andy Linton said this year was wildly successful. Friday nights, we averaged about 25 cars, drivers that, that race. Uh, Spectator-wise, we averaged about 1,800 spectators on, on any given Friday night. On Saturday night was our better nights. Um, uh, we, ended, we averaged about 40, 40 to 45 drivers, mainly in M45, with about uh, average of 3,000 uh, spectators throughout the, the year, except for the last two events we, is where it started really pick up. We had about 4,000, 4,500. And the planning for next year's Muscle on Main series, which could include more races and events, is well underway. You know, we got a lot of good things going on next year uh, with the index racing. And, you know, of course, we have the H2O Point Series that we'll probably do again next year. Uh, the East Kentucky Hibley Drag Racing Series, you know, we still we're looking at that. Um, we just got to get together and kind of see what we can do to improve next year. So that's our next plan. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.